Come guess me this riddle. What beats pipe and fiddle? What's hotter than mustard and milder than cream? What best wets your whistle? What's clearer than crystal? Sweeter than honey and stronger than steam? <laughs> Spoiler, it's whiskey. It's Irish whiskey. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. If you haven't already guessed, I'm definitely no singer, but I do enjoy an Irish drinking song. And the rest of that song, which was the humors of whiskey, will probably be on Patreon later. So in today's episode, I was wondering what cocktail I would make because I think we all kind of know there aren't that many quintessential Irish cocktails. It's kind of more of a pint of Guinness or a neat whiskey kind of situation. However, there was one that kind of stuck out as being a typical cocktail that people would drink internationally on St. Patrick's Day. And that is what we're going to make today. So today we are going to be making an Irish mule. <laughs> So an Irish mule is a cocktail that admittedly I had never really heard of before. It's certainly not something that you would typically find in the bars in Ireland. However, it seems to be popular internationally, which is why I'm gonna focus on it today. And it also gives me an excuse to highlight some beautiful Irish whiskey. I have a bottle of Jameson here today. There are some other incredible Irish whiskey brands. I suggest you pick up one. Honestly, I have yet to meet an Irish whiskey that I didn't enjoy. So I would definitely suggest you indulge in some beautiful Irish whiskey for the week that is in it. So as you know, here on this channel, I love looking at the history of the cocktails that I'm making. It is one of my favorite parts to learn more about where the drinks came from. But because an Irish mule is a relatively new drink and it's a little bit of a mutation of a drink that we've already looked at on this channel, instead, I'm going to give you the history of St. Patrick. So before we get into the history of St. Patrick himself and I show you how I make an Irish mule at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. Not only is it a great way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content, you can join in on my monthly live stream with my Patreon community, and you can see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. You can guarantee there will be some Irish drinking songs and some more whiskey happening after this episode. <laughs> and so without further ado, let's get into the history of St. Patrick's Day. So as you all probably know already, St. Patrick's Day falls on the 17th of March and St. Patrick himself is the patron saint of Ireland. But what you might not know is that St. Patrick himself is not actually Irish. He is in fact Welsh. Despite a certain amount of myths and legends that surround St. Patrick, he was in fact a real person. He was a Welshman, as I said, and he lived in the fourth century. But when he was 16, he was captured and brought to Ireland as a slave. Now, naturally while he was captured and living as a slave, he wasn't really getting up to much. There was a lot of sheep minding, but he did eventually escape and he came back to Ireland in 1432. And it was then that he brought with him this little thing known as Christianity. And that's how he ended up being our patron saint. So by the time of his death, which coincidentally was on March 17th, which is why the holiday is on that day, he had established many churches, schools, monasteries, and he was just generally a very well-liked guy. And there are many legends that exist about him. One of which is of course that he drove the snakes out of Ireland, but it is a legend that I quite like sharing because you know, it's, it's, it's a good visual of him physically chasing the snakes out of Ireland. What I always find really interesting about Paddy's Day is how massive it is internationally. And really it's no surprise when you think about the huge numbers of immigration that we've had as a country. The first St. Patrick's Day parade was actually held in Boston in 1732, which is absolutely wild that that long ago there were that many Irish expats that wanted to celebrate their nationality in a parade. It's crazy. Now, New York did follow suit soon afterwards. I think it was in 1762 that they had their first parade, but Boston was the first one to do it. It seems like both Boston and New York really know how to celebrate Paddy's Day, so I will make it my mission to attend a Paddy's Day there at some point in the future. So now that I've given you a little bit of history on St. Patrick's Day, let's go ahead and look at the Irish Mule. So as I've already mentioned, the Irish Mule is somewhat of a mutation of a pre-existing cocktail called the Moscow Mule. It was created in 1941 in New York City. The story is 
actually quite interesting. If you want to see the full one, again, I will link the video below. But if somebody out there has a more detailed history on the Irish mule and how that came about, please do let me know. All right, so let's get into the ingredients for an Irish mule. So as I mentioned for our Irish mule, we are going to be using some ginger beer, which is actually a really fun one to include in cocktails. It's always a really interesting flavor. It has a little bit of a kick to it. So we're gonna be starting with that. And then of course, we are also going to be using some Irish whiskey. You don't have to use Irish whiskey to make an Irish mule, but I feel like it's a bit of a shame if you don't. So I would recommend foregoing your bourbon or your rye and getting a nice Irish whiskey for this. Now another thing that the Irish mule uses alongside its Moscow mule sister is of course fresh lime juice and this is all music to my ears because one of my favorite ways to drink whiskey is with a little bit of ginger ale and lime so I feel like this is just going to be a more punchy slightly spicy version of that as an optional garnish for your Irish mule you can also use a mint sprig and I feel like some people don't know that actually Ireland has a really great quality of mint so I have some Irish mint here so now that we've looked at our history and our ingredients let's go ahead and make an Irish mule because I am thirsty so we're gonna start off with our traditional copper mug. You don't have to use this one if you don't want to. You can use like a pewter or metal mug or just a regular glass, but for the sake of display, we're gonna use a copper one. So I'm just filling this up with some nice big ice cubes. All right, so now for the fun part, we're gonna go in with 60 mils of our beautiful Irish whiskey, um, a generous 60 mils, if you will. It is Paddy's Day after all. We're gonna go in with some freshly squeezed lime juice, which I have right here. Roughly half a lime or one lime if it's smaller. My lime are quite small so I'm gonna go in with like almost a full one all right I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and then we're gonna to top it up with our ginger beer and this is gonna give it a nice ooh, a nice kick a nice fizz I actually think this is gonna be really really refreshing beautiful and then we're gonna go in with our delicious mince break and do you know what I haven't done in a really really long time I haven't done a clap and a roll just to wake up the mint. So you can kind of gussy up your mint sprig a bit and then just arrange it nicely. So actually, do you know what? I'm gonna take this one off. This one's not happy looking. Yeah, that looks good. And then we're gonna go in with a nice sexy wedge of lime as well. I do think the Moscow Mule is a very, very pretty drink. So the very last thing I'm gonna do is just pop a little straw in here and I'm gonna put that right in between the sprig of mint and the lime. So you get that full bloom of mint when you hold it to your nose. All right, so our Irish Mule is finished. I have to say she looks absolutely beautiful there's a nice little frost on the glass there it looks so refreshing and like I said I've never tried this before so if you'll join me over on my cocktail drinking chair let's try an Irish mule for the first time and see how she tastes Okay, so we are back in the cocktail drinking chair. I am very excited to try an Irish meal for the first time. In terms of display, it is a very pretty looking drink. It's very similar to a Moscow meal. All right, cheers. Mmm. The ginger beer really tickles the back of your throat. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. It is so refreshing. It's really, really, really nice. Immediately, it reminds me a lot of a mint julep, which I've made before on this channel, and I really, really enjoyed. And it is similar to a Moscow Mule, but I feel like there's enough of a difference between the whiskey and the vodka that it is a totally different taste experience. Mmm. I have not yet celebrated St. Patrick's Day anywhere other than home. But if I was and somebody made this for me, I would be very, very happy. And because this is the second year that here in Ireland, we will not be having a St. Patrick's Day parade. I felt like it was only right to do it justice here on this channel. Actually last St. Patrick's Day, I hadn't yet started making cocktails. So this is my first St. Patrick's Day doing it. So I hope I did it justice. I hope I gave you a little bit of history, a little bit of song. So what I would love to know is wherever you are in the world, do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? If so, is there a certain drink that you make? Is it an Irish mule? Do you just drink whiskey? Maybe it's Guinness, you know, could be that as well. That's a fabulous drink, a little bit harder to make into cocktails, but it can be done. So if you did enjoy the Irish drinking songs and you'd like to hear more of them, let me know in the comments. We've been learning them since we were kids here in Ireland. So they just kind of stay in the recesses. Thank you for allowing me to celebrate and for spending it with me. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will link a playlist up here. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Sláinte!